Hey, Internet! This week on the Roundup, we're picking up three root beers from around the country. First up, we got Doc Browns, which have been kicking around New York City in fine delicatessen since 1869, when they first came out with their Cell Ray Tonic, uh, which is a drink still on the market that I will not be trying on this show. We've also got Fitz's Root Beer out of St. Louis, Missouri. Fitz is first started in 1947 as a little burger drive-in. Uh, they closed in the 70s and then reopened in 96 with a fresh store, but the same root beer recipe. Uh, so yeah, that's something. <laughs> and then we've got a Beta root beer. Uh, Beta is out of uh, Beta Springs, uh, Louisiana, which is right across the lake from New Orleans, about 30 miles north. Uh, it is produced by the Abita Brewing Company that's been in business since 1986, uh, making beer, uh, Purple Haze as one of theirs. I'm sure you've seen it around. Their root beer uh, is made with, uh, locally sourced to them, uh, Louisiana Pure Sugar Cane. So it should be good stuff. I'm on a party like I did when I was aging Too much root beer, stay up late See Adam Glass's root beer around me glass bottle says that it's made with real sugar and or HFCS. Uh, so we'll see. It's got a good good classic root beer smell. A little lighter in color. Very bubbly. Not bad. Definitely on the sassafras end. <clears throat> Creamy though, um, not necessarily really vanilla, but definitely creamy. Not bad, not bad at all. Mm, it's good. I think this one has a little more corn syrup. I kind of feel it right here. The Fitz is here. Fitz's says all natural, pure cane sugar. Hmm. Fitz's smells a little more like bubble gum. It's definitely a lighter color even than the Doc Brown, and the Doc Brown is pretty light. Much bubblier though. Yeah, that's interesting. It's not really. There's not a lot of sassafras there, so much as like tutti frutti. <laughs> There's a little bit on the back end. A lot of vanilla in this. I guess that's super sweet, uh, like bubble gum. Um, it's interesting. It's not bad, it's just not that great. And a beta and the little short neck. The only one that was actually not a twist top. Whatever, bottle openers work. Yeah, this is much darker than the other two. Uh, this does contain yucca uh, as a foaming agent, though it doesn't have a whole lot of a head on it. That was pretty clean, a little herby, but not a lot to the nose. It's got a good bite. <clears throat> Get a little water. I'm still tasting the fits, I think.
yeah, there's a little bit of that same sweetness to it, but this is definitely more more of a classic root beer sassafrasiness to it. Um, it's a little bit of cream, a little bit of vanilla, but not a lot. Uh, it's a much deeper flavor. I'm going to call Abita my favorite of the three, actually. We'll go Doc Brown's number two, and Fitz is out in the back. Not that it's bad. I don't want to. I don't want to judge St. Louis like this, guys. I just it's got problems, yeah, but it's still a decent, decent thing. That's good stuff. 